Imagine the shockwaves through the automotive industry when the CEO of a world-renowned corporation personally steps before the press and announces that their most secretive and widely discussed engine actually exists. That is exactly what has now happened. The head of Mercedes has publicly confirmed that the so-called Yasaflux motor is a reality. Until now there were only rumors and confidential speculation. But now it is said that this unit is so powerful and built on a completely new technology that brands like Tesla, BYD, or Toyota could face sleepless nights. Should this motor actually be installed in series production vehicles, it could change the entire game surrounding petrol, diesel, and even today's electric batteries. But the real question is, what makes this motor so special? Is it truly the turning point the auto industry has been waiting for years, or will it ultimately remain just another high-tech promise? And if it does deliver on its promises, could Tesla's dominance in the electric vehicle sector begin to wobble? In this video, we unveil secrets that will force you to rethink the future of mobility so, make sure to stay until the end because the real game has only just begun. And before we dive in, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these exciting revelations. When a major manufacturer introduces such a groundbreaking technology, it's not just luck, it's really the result of years of research, strategic planning, and honestly, countless hours of work. That's exactly how it went with the Yasa motor from Mercedes. Many people might think the news just appeared suddenly, but in truth, the company worked on this project in secret for many years, without major media announcements, without loud promises, just step by step in the background. That was Mercedes's real master plan. So, let's take a look back. Between 2010 and 2015, a wave of electromobility swept across the world. Tesla proved with its models back then that electric vehicles were not just the future, but already the present. It was precisely during this phase that the strategists at Mercedes realized they couldn't rely solely on batteries. If they wanted to remain relevant in the coming decades, they had to redefine motor technology themselves. And that's where a small but visionary company from the UK came into play, Yasa. So, this firm was already researching the so-called axial flux motor and, yeah, showed with initial prototypes that this design could actually change the future. Mercedes saw the opportunity and began, step by step, to support Yasa. In 2019, Mercedes finally took over the company completely. Officially it seemed like a normal business deal, but in truth, this was really the crucial building block for the Yasa Flux motor. With full financial support and honestly, some pretty intensive research, hundreds of engineers transformed this vision into tangible reality over a period of 5 to 10 years, millions of euros flowed into the project, and yet, everything remained so strictly secret that even industry insiders had no idea what Mercedes was really planning. Outsiders merely thought the brand was just continuing to invest in luxury electric vehicles. But behind the scenes, a drive system was being created that could, well, turn the entire industry on its head. Another central point of this strategy was the right timing. Mercedes never brought this technology to market prematurely. They knew that if an unfinished or weak product appeared, Competitors like Tesla or BYD would not miss an opportunity to ridicule it. So, Mercedes tested the motor for thousands of hours in simulations and under real conditions before they were sure the moment had come. This approach proves that Mercedes has been closely observing how Tesla operates and has learned from it. While Tesla makes a big spectacle, Mercedes remains silent in order to play their trump card at the decisive moment. Talk less, deliver more, that is their motto. But what is this Yasa Flux motor anyway? Think about it for a second. Whenever we think about cars, the motor immediately appears in our mind's eye as the heart of the vehicle. In the past, petrol and diesel engines dominated. Later, electric drives conquered the roads. And now, one name is causing a worldwide stir, the Yasa Flux motor. But what makes it so special? Simply explained, Yasa is a British company that specialized in this technology before Mercedes acquired it. Flux means magnetic flux and that makes it clear that this motor is based on a clever interaction of electricity and magnetic fields. Conventional electric motors such as permanent magnet or induction motors are usually, well, pretty large, heavy, and require a lot of space. The Yasa flux motor on the other hand, follows a completely new principle that could change everything. The true fascination of the Yasa flux motor lies in the fact that it is small, light, and yet honestly, extremely powerful. Its construction is based on the so-called axial flux principle, so, what does that actually mean? While conventional motors rotate like a cylinder, this motor spins like a flat disc. Instead of a thick block, it acts more like a thin round plate. The advantage is obvious. It needs less space, weighs significantly less, 
and yet, still delivers impressive performance. That is precisely why Mercedes presents it as one of their strongest drives. Another key point is torque. Simply explained, torque is the force that creates movement. Imagine you want to loosen a screw. With a short wrench, you have to apply a lot of pressure. But with a long lever arm, it goes effortlessly. It's the same with the motor. The Yasa drive offers exceptionally high torque, which means vehicles feel enormous acceleration immediately. While classic motors need to get going first, this motor delivers its full power instantly. The result is, well, a car reaches speeds from 0 to 100 in just a fraction of a second. In terms of efficiency, it also sets new standards. Conventional electric motors heat up significantly, thereby wasting energy and losing range. The Yasa flux motor on the other hand, minimizes heat losses through its special design. This means less battery power is wasted and, yeah, range increases. To make it tangible, while a normal electric car gives about 400 kilometers of range, the same vehicle with a flux motor can easily manage between 500 and 550 kilometers without a larger battery. Even more exciting is that this motor, despite its compact size, also fits into larger vehicles. Whether small cars, SUVs, or sports cars, it can be used flexibly. Classic e-motors are often so bulky and heavy that they are difficult to integrate everywhere. But this new technology opens up completely new possibilities. A lighter car means less strain on the battery. This allows the battery to be smaller and cheaper, which in turn lowers the vehicle price. At the same time, the driving experience becomes more dynamic and smooth. This brings us to the challenges in manufacturing. The flux motor is not only new, but also significantly more difficult to produce. While classic motors have been built for decades, the axial flux construction requires extremely precise coils and magnets. Connecting and balancing these components cleanly is complex. Mercedes has the technology, but if they want to equip hundreds of thousands of vehicles, they must greatly expand their production capacities. Added to this is the dependence on raw materials. For flux motors, rare earths like neodymium magnets are needed, the occurrence of which is very limited, mainly in China and a few other countries. If demand rises, a shortage threatens. So, Mercedes will therefore have to find new suppliers and, you know, make greater use of recycling. And now the decisive question arises. When and how will the Yasa Flux motor be seen on the roads? Mercedes is currently preparing to use it in luxury sports cars and high-performance models. Particularly the AMG series could benefit from the technology. In SUVs, the advantage will be noticeable. Despite their high weight, they get more torque and power. The driving experience becomes, well, more intense. In sports cars on the other hand, the flux motor opens up the possibility to compete with Tesla's Moon DS Plaid. Even for trucks and buses it could change the market because heavy vehicles in particular need more power and range. Exactly. That is what this motor delivers despite its compact construction. Looking towards the year 2030, the flux motor could become the standard of the electric industry, just as practically every car today runs with lithium-ion batteries. In a few years, almost every model could be equipped with axial flux technology. And now, the conversation truly begins, and your perspective is the most vital component. We've journeyed together through the intricate details of this groundbreaking technology, from its clandestine development to its potential to reshape our very understanding of electric propulsion. But, you know, the true measure of any innovation lies not just in its engineering, but in the discourse it sparks and the future it inspires. So, we turn the microphone over to you. After absorbing all this information, what is your informed verdict? Do you genuinely believe that the Yasa Flux motor represents the definitive turning point, the long-awaited paradigm shift that will fundamentally alter the trajectory of the electric car industry for decades to come? Can you envision a near future where its compact power and remarkable efficiency become the universal benchmark, rendering current motor technologies obsolete, and finally, delivering the combination of exhilarating performance, practical range, and accessible costs that consumers have been demanding? Or, when you survey the long and often winding history of automotive breakthroughs, do you harbor a sense of cautious skepticism? Will the Yasa Flux motor, despite its immense promise, ultimately become a footnote in the history books, a high-tech marvel that was ultimately hampered by the immense complexities of mass production, the volatile geopolitics of rare earth material sourcing, or simply the relentless pace of competition that could unveil an even more disruptive technology just around the corner? Does its path to becoming the industry standard seem fraught with obstacles too significant to overcome on a global scale? And yes, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so very much for your valuable time and for your intellectual curiosity. 
Thank you for staying with us, for engaging with these complex ideas, and for journeying with us until the very end of this video. Your viewership is what makes this exploration of the future of mobility so rewarding.